Hi, welcome back to the Dr. O'Donovan Medicine Made Easy YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be covering potential warning features of lung cancer, also known as red flag features. These are signs that essentially mean someone might have a lung cancer and you need to act quickly to investigate and refer them. So what do you need to be looking out for? Well, this channel tries to draw on up-to-date medical evidence where possible. And today's video is going to use National Institute for Clinical Excellence, also known as NICE Guideline 12, which is for suspected cancer recognition and referral. This was first published in 2015 and updated again in 2021. There are essentially two broad things that are important to take away from the guideline. The first is which patients need an immediate referral to a lung specialist. And the next is which patients need an urgent chest X-ray, ideally to be done within two weeks. So let's start off with the first part of the guideline, which deals with those patients who need a referral within two weeks to a specialist. Now there's two important things to note. Those are people who've had a chest x-ray finding that suggests lung cancer, or those people aged 40 and over with unexplained hemoptysis, which is coughing up of blood. So for example, if a 50 year old woman comes to your clinic with coughing up of blood for a week, you should make an urgent two week referral without delay. The second part of the guideline concerns the individuals who need an urgent chest x-ray to be done within two weeks to assess for lung cancer. And NICE have helpfully produced a list of symptoms that we need to watch out for, especially in people who are aged 40 and over. So if someone has had two or more of the following unexplained symptoms, or if they've ever smoked and have one or more of the following unexplained symptoms, they need an urgent chest x-ray. Symptoms include cough, fatigue, shortness of breath, chest pain, weight loss and appetite loss. The final part of the guideline is worded slightly differently. There are other symptoms, but you should use your clinical judgment and consider offering an urgent chest x-ray. So if the patient is aged 40 and over and has a persistent or recurrent chest infection, finger clubbing, as you can see in the photo on screen here, supracavicular lymphadenopathy or, or persistent cervical lymphadenopathy, and chest signs consistent with lung cancer, and finally thrombocytosis, which is a raised platelet count, you could consider a chest x-ray within two weeks. So let's take a look at an example of this. An example might be a patient who comes in with a persistent apparent chest infection that doesn't seem to budge despite multiple courses of antibiotics. You need to think, maybe I've got the antibiotics wrong, or maybe they might have an underlying lung cancer. It's worth remaining vigilant for this. Also remember that if you've got a high clinical suspicion of lung cancer, but the chest x-ray is reported as normal, still consider seeking specialist input. And this is because up to 20% of lung cancers can be missed on chest x-rays. So I hope that this video makes the guidelines as clear as possible and will help you in your future clinical practice. It's always useful to know these symptoms and signs. It's worth being vigilant for them. And if you're a patient watching this video and you've got any concerns, please see your nearest healthcare professional. As ever, I hope you enjoyed the video, you learned something new, and if you did, please consider subscribing to join 30,000 other learners on this channel for new medical education content, which I produce every Wednesday and every Sunday. Until next time, bye.